the Atlantic puffin, Fraticula artica. Puffins normally grow to be about 12 inches long, with a wingspan of about 20 to 24 inches. They are also called the sea parrots and the clowns of the sea because of their colorful beaks. Puffins change appearance from breeding season to non-breeding season. These two appearances are so different that they were once believed to be two completely different birds. There, however, isn't much difference in the appearance of the male and female of the species. Puffins live most of their lives at sea. When they need to rest their wings, they float on the waves similar to a duck. They are skilled at both swimming and flying, can fly at 55 miles an hour, but can be clumsy in the air. The puffin is often seen crash landing into the ground and sea. In the water, however, they're much more graceful. Puffins can dive from both the surface of the water and from the air. They can dive as deep as 200 feet. That's 61 meters. While in the water, they catch small fish, crustaceans, and mollusks, then swallow them before even returning to the surface. In spring and summer, puffins rest on coasts and islands in the northern Atlantic to breed with mates. 60% of these puffins will breed in Iceland every year. Puffins are one of many types of birds that return to the same breeding spots every year. They normally even mate with the same partners throughout their lives. Puffins stay with their eggs to incubate them for about six weeks. The male and female will take turns hunting and sitting on the egg. Once hatched, it takes another six to eight weeks before the young birds will be ready to leave the nest. Puffins have a conservation status of least concern, which means that there's plenty of them around and we'll be seeing them for years to come.